last episode. Emily fought bravely to clear out what was needed at the military research facility. It was needed to find the supplies and in the hope of finding a car with gasoline and keys in it. But happiness was not with her and had to start walking its way through the thick forest. Trees and bushes, a tor and scratch of ugly wounds all over her body. She has finally reached and found the open forest. She knows she must be close to her goal. Hungry and tired, chased by infected. She finally saw the fence at Fort Redstone. Fort Redstone! Thank God! I made it! Now I just need to find the entrance. Wounds were bleeding, and the bandages often needed to be changed. She did not have many clean bandages left. The wound on her chest were aching. Oh damn! This looks bad. It needs disinfection. Luckily, Emily had taken medical supplies with her from what she found and was able to clean the wound. As she approached and got closer to the fence... No! No, 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 no! Can't be! She saw infected inside what she believes was to be a safe zone. With her mood drastically dragged into sadness, she kept on walking. As she kept on going, she saw more infected inside. She faced the fact that Fort Redstone has been abandoned and filled with infected. With her energy drained, a stomach screaming for food, she decides she must seek and find shelter and food here, nevertheless. She kept on walking while going through her backpack. She suddenly stops and looks up. An opening in the fence. An infected suddenly appears from the trees behind her. As she starts fighting it, she really feels the pain in her wounds, aching every move she makes. She looks around for more infected. It looks fairly calm. Some infected behind the other side of the fence, that's all. Infected fall to the ground, Emily feel the pain. She can't fight it. She starts walking towards the gate. It's locked. She takes what's left in her strength and climb over the fence. The infected was close behind following its prey. Emily, now safe behind the fence, starts looking for open doors leading into the building. Damn it! Why is this all locked? She crosses the yard. Approach the other door. The door is, however, open. The path is blocked by boxes. Emily starts moving a couple of boxes to the side. And the path gets clear to get inside. 
Inside, she listens for noises. She can hear some faint growling. There is infected here somewhere. She starts looking through the doors. As the infected is found, more noises starts. Emily decides she must carefully go through all the doors. Clear the facility to be sure no one can backstab her later. She founds a relaxation room with the kitchen. The TV is on. She switched the channel to live and living. There is always something good on this channel. To her joy, there is some action on the channel. Some medical advice commercials. Oh god, I miss people. I wish I had a friendly face to talk to. She lingers in front of the TV and starts taking care of her wounds. Ignoring the door banging she knows she must deal with eventually. She takes a glance at the kitchen area, her stomach longs for food, but she lingers by the TV to finish watch the Woodcraft series, which she found quite interesting. find some chicken in the fridge. She immediately puts it in the microwave to cook it. She finds some cheese. Oh, too good. She also finds more ice cream. She hesitates, but can't keep away but to eat a half right away. Oh yes. Mm. Oh, I'm so hungry I can eat a horse. And that chicken seems not to be ready in quite a while. She decides to look into that banging while the chicken gets ready. She finds an affected lady in the bathroom. But the banging continues. Damn it. More infected somewhere here. It reveals there's two infected behind the door across. Jeez. Damn it. She takes the fight out in the corridor. Her arms and body aches as the fight to end their suffering. Then Emily somehow loses time and space. She starts ripping clothes into cheats. She then starts cleaning up the dead bodies. She can't stand them. She's gonna hide them in this room. She then continues to search the rooms nearby. She's finding a shower room. Oh yes, showers. I'm gonna take one here tonight for sure. Oh god, that would be so nice. Finishing looking through the cupboards in the shower room. She just remembers. Oh god, no, the chicken. Oh fuck, no! My chicken all burned! She lingers. Fear falling from her eye. 
she puts the chicken away. She decides she's not worth the rest of the ice cream now. It was time. She know what has to be found here at Fort Redstone. The Intel dossier she found her first day at the military research facility. It said this place was used as a research facility for a possible cure. She know that she's one of the virologists. She was gonna attend to that as well. She needs to find out how far they came on that end. She knows there is a hospital and a research facility here and that is where she will find what needed. That is her goal until she can decide what to do next. Well, two hours later, the barracks has been searched and secured. She was now carrying way too much. She had found more ammunition for a rifle, additional rifles, along with more clothes and some knives. With that said, she now needs to find a place where she can sleep and stay safe during her time here. Going through the kitchen area, Emily was more than pleased to know that she now has enough food for a good chunk of time ahead. Tired, hungry, sweaty, dirty, encumbered and anxious, she moved from the kitchen to see and find a secure place to settle. Damn, my weapon broke. She closed the door, she quickly pulls her newfound knife from the belt. With unfamiliar hands, she takes the knife in defensive position and meets the infected. Blood splatter all over the floor and walls as she slits and stabs through the infected flesh. the door more infected it's banging on a door for whatever reason they have the door suddenly breaks and yet another infected steps into the corridor Emily is forced to take the fight back in the corridor <laughs> Close. Oh, I hate the sneaky ones. Even though she's killed several now, the door banging keeps going. There's more to handle. 
with a tired body, she just has to keep going. Emily leads the infected back to the blood-stained corridor. She does not want to make more noise than necessary in unsafe places. The banging keeps going. Emily checks out the room to the right. She decides to drop her secondary bag here. And the Gila suit she just found make her way easier. She goes back out in the corridor to find the effective banging on the door. Take a sip of water and to refill her water bottle. The infected are banging on the front door and the window. She must take action before they break and even make more sound. strength and energy, she keeps on fighting the infected. Her exhaustion is really bad. She's getting very tired. Her body just wants to stop, but she must keep going. Luckily, she seems to manage to separate the last infected, so dealing with the solo one is an easier task. One now, I hope. <laughs> Emily's so tired. The stabbing slice from the knife hardly makes any damage. Finally killed. She saw more outside, but she sneaks back inside, closing the door and hope they did not see her. She heads back to the room where she dropped the bag and opens the door. Hey now, I remember this room. I had my interview and briefing here. What's in here? Oh damn, this looks comfy. A bed, TV, water, sofa, storage, yeah. The TV is on and Emily quickly turns down the volume. She though let the TV remain on. Hearing other voices will most likely calm her down. 
Okay. It's nothing much stored here, but this room will definitely be good for now. She makes a wash of her clothes. Then she immediately starts to unpack, organize, and store the things she gathered until now. She's done unpacking, she leaves the room, before getting to bed, she feels the need to fill her belly and then take a warm shower that she longed for since the moment she opened her eyes on that medical bed. She doesn't really find her time to actually cook something, she's way too tired. She just grabs some potatoes and then she decides to slice them up and eat them fresh but raw. Oh my, this is gonna be so lovely. Shower. can't hold back, she starts to cry in the shower, she can't wait to get back to that comfy bed to get some sleep. reflects the day while dressing. Waking up on that couch back at the military facility. And now, here, Fort Redstone. So much have happened. Horrified by all the thoughts happened recently, she stops for a smoke. To try and focus what's ahead of us, what I must do. Ice cream, yes. with peace.
She takes sleeping pills in ordinary order. She turned off the lights and set the TV off. Backpack on the floor, then straight for bed without setting any alarm. <sighs> Good night, Emily. Sweet dreams.